Okay, in this video we're going to uh, continue on our investigation in chapter 5, just looking uh, at loops. As part of this, we're going to take a look at uh, our string functions. Okay, so uh, we're going to go over a brief PowerPoint here with a couple points, and then we're going to move on to a PDF document, uh, and both of these will be available to you uh, through our website, of course. So string functions. So we're already a little bit familiar with strings. We know that strings are different than numerical values in that they hold characters. So that's when we use a string and obviously there's a place in time for strings and a place in time for numbers uh, or integers. But for now we're going to focus on strings. So Visual Basic has a number of built-in string functions and they include string conversion functions, functions to manipulate strings, functions to generate strings, functions to compare strings, the len function, and the in string str function. Okay, so obviously things and words like conversion, manipulate, generate, compare, hopefully automatically in your mind you can already start to think about what those uh, sort of functions would do, okay? Obviously if we want to convert something, uh, we can use that in VB. If you want to manipulate a string, so change something about it, obviously we can do that. Uh, generate to create, okay? Compare is one thing similar or equal to another, etc. So, uh, string conversion functions. They allow you to convert the case of a letter in a string. So, L case function converts letters to lower case. Pretty straightforward. U case converts letters to uppercase. Again, pretty straightforward. SDRConv, CONV, converts letters according to a predefined constant. And again, some of these are sort of abstract, but you'll come to understand them better once you see them uh, in, inside of a program and how they actually function. Okay, so the manipulate strings. Functions for manipulating strings include left returns the length of characters from the left side, right returns the length of characters from the right, Mid function returns the length of characters in the middle of a string, and mid statement is used to replace a specified number of characters in a string. Again, um, these seem a little bit abstract, but they will make more sense once you actually see them inside of a program and how they actually function. Uh, len and in str string, the len function returns a count of the number of characters in a string. Okay, so that could be fairly important for us to be able to manipulate it and to be able to get information from our string. Remember that a space in a string is considered a character. Our computers are just a computer, it's not a brain. Uh, it counts the spaces between words as a character. Okay, again, the spaces count as a character, just as a uh, a period or a dash or an underscore, that all counts as a character, obviously. So a space is no different than those. The in str function returns the starting position of a substring or portion of a string. Again, you'll understand this better as we go along. Generating strings. Functions that allow us to generate strings are space returns a string of spaces. Okay, that can be useful the ampersand or and operator and that joins two or more strings into one string we've already used this before so that should that should be old hat for us VB tab represents the tab character and places eight spaces in a string and VB CRLF uh, represents carriage return line feed and moves text to the next line okay so uh, it's like hitting enter on our keyboard in Microsoft Word for instance okay so again we'll come to understand those a bit better as we go along comparing strings Visual Basic has built-in functions that allow us to perform textual comparisons on strings a textual comparison is a comparison that does not distinguish between upper and lowercase letters. It's just looking to see uh, is uh, if visual spelt the same way as it compared. Is it equal? It doesn't matter if it's all uppercase or all lowercase. And there's two ways to perform textual comparisons. So we have the str comp function with the VB text compare constant. Okay, and again, once you see that in code, hopefully it'll make more sense. And the like operator, usually used for comparing patterns of characters such as ION. So ION is a common suffix uh, in the English language. So now we're going to pop over uh, and look at our PDF. So this PDF will also be available. I'm not going to read everything word for word throughout this. Uh, it is uh, several pages long. I'm just going to highlight a few things, okay?
So by the end of this specific unit, I mean, loops as a whole and then strings is also what we're looking at here. You should be able to use string functions to convert strings to upper, lower, and proper case. Okay, proper case being, um, you know, uh, uppercase uh, uh, nouns perhaps, or uh, uppercase uh, the first uh, letters of, an, of a name. Use string functions to return the length of a character in a string. Okay, how many words is in the letter cat? Okay, three. Use string functions to return characters from any part of a string. Okay, so we should be able to, uh, uh, in our code, be able to return what is the third character, the fifth character, etc. Use string functions to replace characters in a string. Okay, pretty straightforward. Use string functions to count the number of characters in a string, the total number. Okay. Um, use string functions to locate a substring. Use string functions to generate strings. Use string functions to compare strings. And finally, use the concatenation operator to join strings. Okay, so that's putting them together. Okay, so in the previous units, we had our first look at the string data type. We looked at declaring and initializing strings, okay, how to concatenate or join strings and the null string. So we've had a little bit of experience with this. As you've learned, strings hold character data. There are times when the programmer does not care what is in a string. A string is just data that is passed from one part of the program to another. Other times it may be necessary to perform such tasks as verifying the contents of a string, modifying the string, or retrieving specific information from a string. So in this we're going to look at VB and the built-in string functions that allow you to manipulate strings to obtain data from them. Okay, firstly, we're going to look at uh, string conversion functions include functions for converting the case of letters in a string. So we have our L case, U case, and STR conv, which converts according to a visual basic predefined constant. So let's look really closely here. The L case function uses the following syntax. So we see the, the uh, function typed out L, uppercase L case, and then in brackets is our string. And this is used where string is a string variable or a string enclosed in quotation marks. Okay, pretty straightforward. L case returns the string argument in parentheses as an all lower case string as shown in the following example okay so here's a piece of code dim str nursery rhyme a string and we set that uh, the variable which is a string data type to this three blind mice okay and then we have in our label it's displayed as following okay the output that would be displayed in the label would be three blind mice Notice the characters in the string are all converted to lower case. So let's just go into VB and, and, and run that really quick just to show how it works. Okay, <clears throat> so let's take a look at our code here. Pretty straightforward. Just uh, did it, type this up real quick. So I took exactly this here. So we uh, it called a variable named str nursery prime as a string, and we set that equal to three blind mice. So Basically, uh, what's going to happen here is, so we have an extra line of code here, uh, is when uh, we hit run and we run our program, uh, it's going to turn whatever this thing is, whichever our string is set equal to, so nursery rhyme, it's going to make it automatically lowercase. So I hit run, I'm gonna, I put a button in there just for fun, hit convert, and it shows up as, uh, well, you guessed it, smaller or lowercase. So jumping back here, what do you think the next one's going to do? Well, the uppercase. So exactly the same thing. So let's go back and uh, we'll stop the program. And all I got to do is do, change this one thing from L case to U case. Hit run. And oh, look at that. Pretty straightforward stuff here. Okay, so again, there's pretty simple code. And that's basically those three lines of code have displayed to us um, uh, pretty quickly how we can modify uh, our strings in one way. So let's move on. So the string converge uh, function. Uh, so what it is is str conv string comma conversion, where a string is a string uh, variable or a string enclosed in quotation marks. Okay. Uh, again, we could have done that as well. We could have just set this uh, not as a. Um, uh, we could have set this in a slightly different way. So let me just show you what I mean here. Uh, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to take that out altogether. And if I run this, you see what it's done here? I, I could establish it as a variable, and we do want to usually do a variable, but we don't have to. We could, we could simply do it this way. And uh, again, it's going to work just fine for us. 
Okay, uh, I'm just going to undo those. Okay, so um, a conversion is a visual basic predefined constant that determines how the string is to be converted. So the conversion argument can be VB uppercase converts the string to uppercase, similar to U case. VB lowercase converts the string to lowercase, similar to L case. VB proper case converts the first letter in each word of the string to uppercase. Okay, so sometimes that's very useful for us. So the string will be returned according to which of these conversion constants is used. The following example shows the string converge function. Okay. Oh, and and just a quick note here. Uh, th this is from VB, uh, like a, it's a version six uh, dot caption. We use dot text, so that, hopefully you notice that in my code was slightly different. So uh, let's just take a second. I'll set this up uh, in my uh, program, and we'll take a look at how it works. Okay, so I modified my code just a bit here, and we still see that I have my variable str nursery rhyme as string, and this time uh, I'm just going to make it um, all lowercase. Okay just for fun, just to show you what's going to happen. And now we have our program, our code set up in a slightly different way. So in our label named display nursery rhyme, it's going to be equal to strconv. And then we call our variable, which is right here. And then what we want to do to it is we're going to make this edit, the VB proper case. So as you can see, there's, there's a, several things here we can do, right? But uh, VB proper case, just so you can see it. So right now, in the variable, it's stored as three blind mice, all lowercase. What happens when I run it and I hit convert? Huh, look at that. Uppercase, uppercase, uppercase. Right, so that's exactly what we were looking to do in that one. Okay, let's move on quickly. So Visual Basic has several built-in functions for manipulating strings. Many of these functions are useful for parsing or analyzing a string. Kind of a big word. You'll come to understand it a bit as we go along. These functions can be used for extracting smaller sections called substrings from a string. For example, there are functions that allow you to locate and extract one character, one word, or phrase from a string. And again, a little bit vague, but we'll come to understand it a bit better here. The syntax for the left function is, so left, and then in our brackets, our conditions are string and length. Where a string is a string variable or a string enclosing quotation marks, and the length is the number of characters from the beginning or the left uh, of the string to return. So take a look here. Left returns the length of a number of characters starting from the left of the string. Let's look at an example. So we set up a, a variable here as a string, the str name, and Janice is the, the, the name. So what we're going to do here, and you see the piece of code, this is going to uh, return the first three characters. Okay, so I'm going to set this up in a Visual Basic and we're going to check it out. Okay, so uh, Visual Basic 2010 is slightly different code uh, to do what we uh, want to do here. So just so you can see it, um, the, this is from uh, Visual Basic 6, so it's a little bit older. So our left and right functions, again, they're slightly different. See how it's really simple here? For us, we have to type out this whole thing, Microsoft.VisualBasic.Left, and then str name comma 3. So that's going to uh, read the first three or print out the first three characters uh, from the left side. So if we could take a guess here, it might show up as J-A-N. If I hit show, oh, look at that. Perfect. Uh, let's just change that to right. Oh, str name. Okay, and now if you look at that, and you might think what it might do, well, it shows the first three from going starting from the end, okay? So one, two, three, just like that. Okay, so that's just an example of how that works. Okay, and the next one we're going to look at here is the mid function. Okay, so the mid function returns characters from any part of the string, so we can tell the program, the code, how to which, which ones we want to return. Okay, so what we'll do here uh, is take a look here. It was still with Janice, but this time the the code we're saying mid and the string name obviously in between uh, two and four. So in this, in this example, the code would return the characters A and I C, beginning with the second character and returning four characters from the Janice string. So if we go to our code again, it's set up a little bit differently, like this, and then str name uh, two, and the next four characters after that. I hit run, and you'll see what happens. A and I C, perfect. Okay, Okay. so now we're going to take a look at the <coughs> len function. So the len function returns a count of the number of characters in a string. It is also a built-in uh, function in Visual Basic. So we're looking at len string, where string is a string variable or a string enclosed in quotation marks. Len returns the number of characters in a string. So if we look at this example here, 
We have a variable, uh, again, where the nursery rhyme has a string, and has three blind mice, and LBL display, and we're going to use the len function here. The label will display the return value of 16. Why 16 and not 14? Remember, a space is a character, so there are 16 characters in uh, this phrase, three blind mice. Okay, so the, the, the space there and the space there do count. Let's just take a look at this really quickly uh, in our Visual Basic. Okay, so taking a look at our Visual Basic, again, it's set up exactly like uh, it showed in the uh, PDF file. So three by mice, and uh, I'm going to run mine. Um, so we have to click the button to show, and again, it's going to show 16 because it does indeed count uh, the two uh, characters' uh, spaces there.